So, Secretary Austin, uh, Deloitte, uh, it's always a pleasure to see you here at NATO, and thank you so much for uh, your commitment, for the commitment of the United States to our transatlantic uh, bond, to our transatlantic alliance, and also thank you for your personal leadership uh, and uh, commitment uh, to our efforts uh, to support uh, Ukraine. I welcome the unprecedented uh, support the United States has delivered to Ukraine, but also uh, the unprecedented support that uh, European allies, Canada, and partners are uh, providing to uh, Ukraine. And uh, uh, I also think it uh, is a very important message that uh, NATO allies uh, and partners and the Ukraine Defense Contact Group that you share uh, delivered yesterday that we will stand by Ukraine for as long as it takes. We will step up our support, uh, and in particular, we will provide more uh, air defense uh, systems uh, to uh, Ukraine. I also welcome uh, the very strong message from the international community uh, yesterday. The vote in the UN was a clear condemnation of the illegal annexation of Ukrainian territories and a clear call on Russia, President Putin, to uh, reverse these decisions and to respect the territorial integrity of Ukraine. This just shows that uh, we need to stand up uh, for a rules-based international order for our core values and again the U.S. leadership uh, in NATO, in the international community, is uh, essential for this. So, once again, welcome, uh, uh, Lloyd. Oh, good morning, everyone, and it's great to be back here in Brussels and Jens. Uh, thanks for uh, convening this ministerial, which is focused on, uh, on working on the issues that we decided on at the Madrid summit. So, very excited to, uh, to, to have some great conversations uh, on, uh, on those issues uh, today. Uh, I absolutely agree with you on your comments on, uh, on the UN action, uh, and I couldn't put it, uh, put it better. So uh, I think we're, we're absolutely in agreement there. Um, I also agree with you on, uh, on the fact that we're going to stay with uh, our efforts to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. Uh, and you've heard us say that over and over again. The other thing that you've heard us say over and over again is that the United States is absolutely committed to its Article 5 commitments, and we are committed to defending every inch of NATO's territory uh, if and when it comes to that. Uh, I want to applaud uh, all of uh, our allies and partners who stepped up to, uh, to provide uh, assistance to, uh, to Ukraine. You, you know, Russia is in this eighth month of its unprovoked and unjust invasion of Ukraine. Uh, and since, uh, since uh, it uh, it's done that. Allies have uh, continued to step up to provide uh, security assistance. And that just speaks to, uh, to the quality uh, of this alliance and, uh, and the focus of, a, of the alliance uh, members. Uh, and so I could not be more proud of the work that's, that's been done. It also speaks to the point that uh, this alliance is uh, the essential forum uh, for consultation and, uh, and decision making and action when it comes to uh, uh, security of the region and uh, transatlantic security as well. So uh, looking forward to some great discussions today. Uh, I also look forward to welcoming uh, Finland and Sweden uh, to the alliance at some point in the future. Uh, and Jens, thanks again for convening the, uh, the uh, ministerial. And I really look forward to, uh, to some great discussions. Thank you. Thank you. you got